The U.S. Preventative Task Force is, is a governmental agency that evaluates screening programs, and they do this for rectal cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, and they determine that, in their opinion, uh, screening for prostate cancer is unnecessary. This is the body that, a few years ago, uh, commented on breast cancer in women. They actually determined that women shouldn't have mammograms. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force last week came out against annual mammograms for women under 50. And this same group withdrew their recommendation based upon the feelings of the patients and the physicians. I really worry about this situation about cancer and PSAs. As you know, I'm 45 years old. The PSA is part of basic screening of health in men, and it's uh, above age 40. Once a year, you would get a rectal exam to examine the prostate, and then you would get a blood test, which is part of a regular panel. So it's actually not invasive at all because it's really just ticking a box and ordering it with your cholesterol and all of your other tests. So it's, it's not invasive at all. And so obviously it's not a harmful test. Men get that yearly as part of their annual exam. I think the task force should change its recommendation. It was just too broad. Taking away screening from young patients, patients with a family history, African-American men who have a high chance of mortality, that doesn't make sense. You're going to just increase their risk of mortality. And, and those patients are probably going to be affected the most. This is where education will come in and that men have to be educated to say, well, we think that this test is important because we know that if we have prostate cancer, we would like to make a decision on our own fate. And that's the key. The decision to treat or not to treat should be made after the diagnosis. And it should be made by the patient with informed consent from their physician. It shouldn't be where they're denied even knowing the diagnosis. I think that's really the most important part of this is men's rights are being violated here and that they're not uh, being allowed to know that they have cancer.